Hey everybody, welcome to TacosandGeeks.com. This is J-Log, Justin here, and today's topic, I will be talking to you about The Undertaker and who I feel is worthy of defeating his streak at WrestleMania. Now, before we begin, since the Royal Rumble is very close and we have stars coming back like Brock Lesnar, Batista, and there's no doubt about it that WrestleMania 30 is going to be huge. We're going to see a lot of guys, hopefully from the Attitude Era coming back. We're going to see a lot of guys from the Hulk Hogan Era and the 90s Era, Mid-80s Era coming back, even if it's just to be around the show and just show their support for WrestleMania 30. Now, I'm not going to talk about who I want The Undertaker to face at WrestleMania 30. I'm going to talk to you about people I feel is worthy of defeating the streak. Now, when I think about The Undertaker and I think about all he's accomplished and I think about his rogue gallery of all his adversaries and whether they were good or babyface or heel, there's one guy that comes to my mind that I feel is very worthy and just definitely earned it regardless. And a lot of people might disagree with me, but that person I feel that is worthy of defeating The Undertaker streak is Mick Foley, Mankind. And we think back about how these guys interacted back in the late 90s with their boiler room bras and buried alive matches when the executioner interfered. And you have, of course, the pinnacle of their rivalry, the Hell in a Cell. Mick Foley has definitely earned the right and earned his strikes to defeat The Undertaker at the grandest stage of them all. Yes, I know Mick Foley is not, you know, the most popular choice to defeat uh, The Undertaker as Shawn Michaels or Triple H, but I definitely say Mick Foley is somebody I think is worthy, and I will not be upset if he defeated The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Mick Foley has earned it. I think it will be a great spectacular match, and in WrestleMania, Foley will go all out. If you don't believe me, see the Edge versus Mick Foley match at WrestleMania. And I think he will put his body online just one more time for that big epic win. And I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset if Mick Foley did it. Um, another guy I feel that is worthy, even though he lost to The Undertaker twice at WrestleMania, is Kane. Um, it will be a great story for Kane. It will be a great story for The Undertaker to finally close that chapter between these guys, the civil and rivalry that these guys have built up since WrestleMania 14. I think it will be a spectacular match. I mean, I think Kane still has a lot left in him. Undertaker still has a little bit left in him. And I think it will be a great match. I mean, I think Kane's earned it just based off the backstory alone between him being Undertaker's brother. I mean, who else who would not want to see that? You know, Undertaker versus Kane one more time. Third time's the charm for Kane. He finally beats the Undertaker. One, two, three at WrestleMania. I think it will be a spectacular match. I think Kane's earned it. He's definitely played his duels. Um, I would love to see that. If you know, I think Kane is definitely worth it. just on the story and how their relationship is built. I think it will be a spectacular finish, and someone I think is also worthy of ending the streak. Um, of course, Shawn Michaels. I'm not. Even, we already know that would have been another person I would have loved to see end the streak, but it didn't happen. Um, Triple H is another one I thought I felt was worthy. A lot of people won't agree with me on this, but I definitely agree that I think The Rock will be a good choice as well. Granted, these guys didn't have that much of interaction until the Undertaking What Ministry era. But, I mean, if you guys want to see how the chemistry between The Rock and Undertaker is in a wrestling match, watch the triple threat match adventures between The Rock, Undertaker, and Kurt Angle. Still, to me, one of the greatest triple threat matches I've ever seen. Um, way better than Benoit's. Triple H's and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 20. That had to be one of the greatest uh, triple threat matches I've seen. The Rock and Undertaker were just electric. And, and it was lightning in the bottle the way these guys were. And you add Kurt Angle to the match, who I think was also another great choice to end the Undertaker streak. Undertaker and Kurt Angle's chemistry is just phenomenal in the ring. And these guys always did tell great stories. And I, I would love to see Kurt Angle do it as well. I think there will be a, a great match. I mean, there's tons of guys that I think are worthy. Brock Lesnar is another guy who's a great addition. Um, I wouldn't want to see Brock do it right now, but I will say he's worthy enough to do it. He's definitely paid his dues. He's earned his stripes. And he, he, at the time, he also had the Undertaker's respect. So I wouldn't mind that. Um, just to talk about a little bit more, one more guy, of course. This is a no-brainer. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin Undertaker. WrestleMania. I mean, excuse me. Excuse me uh, SummerSlam. The Highway to Hell. That story was great. Um, the match wasn't that great, but I know they could do way, way better. And now that, you know, these guys, I mean, if they were both in the prime, it would be electricity, man. Um, 
dream matches since I just told you guys who I think is worthy. Uh, dream matches that I would love the Undertaker see. Most of those dream matches, most of the guys that I named are my dream matches. But I would love to see Undertaker take on, you know, if they were both in their prime, take on Sting at WrestleMania. I think that would be a great match. Undertaker versus Sting. It's something the fans always wanted to see. And I think that's something I would love to see as well. Uh, you know, the Crow Sting versus the Undertaker, the Phenom, it would have been phenomenal. Um, definitely, I would love to actually see the Undertaker take on, believe it or not, Kurt Angle again at WrestleMania. I think that would be great. Um, Undertaker, well, basically it's Sting who's actually my biggest dream match. But Bret Hart, if they were both in their prime. Undertaker versus Bret Hart in their prime, definitely. Um, if you guys remember that matchup with Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, and Bret Hart. Um, when Shawn Michaels was the referee. Great chemistry at some at Madison Square Garden. Definitely. Um, that's pretty much it. You guys let me know who you think is worthy of beating the Undertaker streak and tell me some of your Undertaker WrestleMania dream matches. Mine's are uh, Kurt Angle, Sting, and Bret Hart. Of course, The Rock and the guys that I named who I feel are worthy are also my dream matches. So leave a comment right there or just hit me up on Twitter as you see the video and let me know what you guys think. This is Justin from MatakasGeeks.com signing off from JLog saying <laughs> later days. Catch you in the next one.